Okay, this problem is asking me to find all the real zeros of my f of x, my polynomial function, here. So I'm going to need to use the rational root theorem. Right now I'm starting with nothing. I have no tools, no clue what any of my zeros could possibly be. Possibly be. So I need to narrow it down. So remember the rational root theorem said if I take all the factors of my constant term, and divide it by all the factors of my leading constant, which in this case is 1, then I will narrow down my possibilities of possible rational roots. So let's start off with my constant term. The constant term is 9, so my factors will be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 9. My leading coefficient is 1. So all the factors of 1 are just plus or minus 1. So, all possible rational roots are the combinations that I can have of each one of these numbers divided by plus or minus 1. So I'm going to have plus or minus 1 over 1, plus or minus 3 over 1, plus or minus 9 over 1. So that's just going to give me 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3, 9, and negative 9. So here are my possibilities. I'm actually going to move this over here. So these are, I'm not finished yet, this is just my set of possible rational roots. So now what I need to do is I need to test each one of these rational roots using synthetic division. So let me set up my synthetic division L here, and I'm going to use all the coefficients of this polynomial. So I have a 1, a 6, a 10, a 6, and a 9. Now let's start with 1 as a possible zero. I bring the one down, multiply one times one, it's going to give me one, add six and one, seven, and I continue this process. So since my remainder is not equal to zero, then I, I've confirmed that one is not one of my rational zeros. Let's try another possibility. Oops. Let's consider negative one. So again, setting up my synthetic division, I have my constants up here, my coefficients. Let's bring down my one. So I have negative 1, 5, negative 5, 5, negative 5, 1, oops, negative 1, that's going to give me 8. Now again, my remainder does not equal 0, so I can with confidence eliminate negative 1 as a possible rational root. Let's try this time negative 3. Put in my constants, bring down the 1, and here we go. Multiply those, add them up, multiply these, add them up, add those two, and here I get 0 as my remainder. So, this actually is a root. So one of my factors of this polynomial will be x plus 3. Now what I have left is x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3. So we'll talk about in the next video how, where we go from here.